Good morning, you guys. It's Monday. Welcome back to my vlog. We're doing a busy day in New York City, day in my life. <laughs> I've been up for a little. It's nice and chilly in my apartment, how I like it. Um, wearing a robe. We're gonna do some eye patches. I'm thinking these bad boys today. Gonna make a coffee. You know the vibes. I'm feeling this mug today. I look forward to this every single morning. The sound, the smell, Mwah. The best kind of morning routine. It just wakes you up, it puts you in a good mood, feels like a sense of self-care. It's just magical. I'm gonna start off this morning by posting a graphic onto our Gals on the Go Instagram. Um, we had Kat, our makeup artist, on last week and we wanted, we did a post Emma helped us design a post of like all of Kat's favorite products. So we're gonna post that now. Just posted it, so cool. Okay, so here's the plan for today. Today is my last day in New York City for two weeks. I'm headed to Montauk tomorrow. I have a house there with Brooke Michio and Katie Bellotti. I'm so excited. Um, I seriously can't wait. I've never been to Montauk. I've only, and then the Hamptons I've only been to once. I've been to Southampton once. So I'm really, really excited to see what this is all about. And I'm obviously going to be vlogging the whole time while I'm there. We're also gonna be recording two Gals in the Go episodes while we're out in Montauk. So get hype. If you don't listen to my podcast, it's called Gals in the Go. Go listen. It's a good time. New episodes every Wednesday. Um, but yeah, so I actually packed a lot already this past weekend in my last vlog definitely go check it out it's my apartment touring vlog why i'm moving i talk about in last week's or yeah the, my last vlog so go watch that if you haven't watched already so yeah i actually got a lot of packing done this past weekend so today it's just more so you know cleaning up my apartment adding the toiletries to my bag just stuff like that um, so I'm not super overwhelmed with the packing, which I'm really, really thankful for because that's not fun. Um, we're going to start off the day by working out with my trainer, Jane. I haven't seen her in two weeks and I'm so excited. I was like, I need to get a workout in before I go. And I think I'm going to ask her to give me some workouts to do while I'm in Montauk because I just feel better mentally and physically, but more so mentally when I'm working out. So I'm sure some of you guys could understand that as well. Um, so I'm gonna try to hold myself to that. Also the way I'm holding this coffee cup right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's the apartment update. If you watched last vlog, I saw an apartment that I'm literally obsessed with yesterday. I still haven't heard back. All I know is that they have my application, but I know there's other people that are applying and I don't know how they decide who gets it, to be honest. Like I have everything they needed more. Like I sent more forms than they needed. I sent like more bank statements, more this, more that. I was just like, please accept me because it was just, everything I wanted, but I won't go any further on that because I talked about it so much. Still waiting to hear back. I have a feeling I might hear something today or tomorrow, so obviously I will tell you guys, um, but that's kind of that situation. So with that, there were two apartments I was gonna see anyways today before I go out to Montauk because then I can't like do that while I'm there. So, waiting to hear back from my amazing realtor, Mackenzie Kyle. Definitely work with her for moving to New York. She's with Platinum Properties and she's so amazing and just so genuine, authentic, like wants you to find an apartment that you feel good in. Anyway, she's amazing. So, we might be touring two apartments in Tribeca today. Updates to come. Brooke and Katie are headed to the Montauk today. I'm headed out tomorrow morning because Ryan has a very special work dinner tonight um, with someone that actually works at University of Georgia right now as well. And I like, I'm so excited to meet them. So I was like, I'm gonna come. <laughs> and also he would be the only one. He'd be like, it's like a ton of like couples. And he was like, please, please, please come. And he always comes with me to events and everything. So I was like, obviously I'll be there. And since I got back from Tampa on Friday, I could use this extra day, <laughs> clearly. So, and the girls were like, yeah, definitely you need to do this. Like, just come the next day. So I'll be meeting them tomorrow. And I know we're recording Gals on the Go tomorrow. So it's like, okay, it'll be nice to have my hair done tonight, tomorrow, all the things. So yeah, that's the layout for today. We're going to Pastis tonight for dinner. I'm really excited. I've never been there. Um, sorry, that was like a long-winded catch up, but I felt like it was necessary because then you guys are gonna see me from place to place and be like, what is happening? So that's layout. Oh, also. I got the cutest clothes from Princess Polly to try on for you guys that I got for Montauk. And I'm literally so obsessed with the stuff I got. It's gonna be so cute when I'm out there. Ton of fun summery stuff. So also thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I love you guys so much as you know. And I've been working with Princess Polly since I was so young and I'm, I'm just so excited that I still work with them because I love their clothes. 
All right, guys, it is Princess Polly haul time. Try on, I'm about to show you guys what I have on right now, but I wanna let you guys know before we get into the try on haul, I have a code for you. I'm literally about to text all my friends because they always ask if I have a Princess Polly code. Code Danielle20 will get you 20% off your whole order. I highly suggest you take advantage of this. 20% off is a good deal. And they also ship from within the United States, which is awesome. Free express shipping, three to four days on orders over $50. We love that. And they also accept after pay, which is amazing. So just some things to keep in mind. They also have shop pay if you use that as well on US orders. So. Just remember that. All right, I need to show you guys what I have on right now. It's no surprise that I love me a green moment. This maxi dress is gorgeous. I'm obsessed with it, obviously, that's why I got it. The material is so comfy. It's this like ribbed material, very, very flattering. I love it a lot. This is so perfect for Montauk this week. Need I say more? Next up, we have this gorgeous, gorgeous set. I am seriously in love with just some like loose curls. Hair down would be so lovely. Um, I love the skirt. I'm obviously going to wear them both separately as well. But this top, it's got a zipper in the back, this beautiful situation cut out the whole nine yards, and then this skirt, obviously, however you wish to wear it. But I think this is so stunning. I just want to like run around a beach or a flower field. <laughs> it's so cute. This dress, I love it. Again, I just wanna flounce around. This is so cute. There's this beautiful lace trim and then it ties right here. I love the straps, super dainty. This just looks so good with some simple jewelry. I love it. I love everything about this dress. Like I would, like, yeah. I would even wear this with some sandals if I want more of a casual, you could wear with heels. Elevated a little bit. This is so cute. I'm telling you guys princess Polly has the cutest stuff right now I'm obsessed. Here is a little outfit. I put together this beautiful maxi skirt from princess Polly Of course the blue floral. I, I Adore this. It's so comfortable. I love how it's got some ruffles to it Super flouncy fun easy to match with a lot of different tops I paired it with this tank top that I think I'm gonna be wearing a lot this summer from Princess Polly, of course. This beautiful material, I love the lace trim again on it. I don't know, I'm like having a moment with lace trim. This is the back, I just kinda tucked it in in the front, you could also just let it go. You could wear like a little gold chain belt and like cinch it all together, I think that could be really nice. I also think this top would look really good with a pair of jeans, I'm gonna show you guys actually in a second, but we love. Okay, love, love this set. It's this beautiful little pale yellow top. Um, so it's a set. And then this is the skirt. It's just like a little, I guess, yeah, it's a midi skirt and it's got this really nice slit. I love it. I love how it's high waisted. This little bra top. Oh my gosh, this is so, so cute. I love this pale yellow with the pink. I don't know. I'm just really, really liking this. Um, so yeah, this is another set that I got. They have some great sets on the website. Guys, I feel so fun in this dress. Um, also, I haven't been saying sizes, but typically, if it's like a slimmer fit type of dress, I'll get a six. If it's a looser fit dress, I'll get a four. Um, pants, I'm a six. Tops, I'm a four, for reference. Um, but I love this dress. They had it in a few colors. I was really trying to decide. I think they had it in this like awesome pink color, maybe. Black, They. this is a great dress. It fits so well. The material feels amazing. It just zips up the back. I think this would be great with some fun bright heels. We love. If you guys saw my last vlog, you know I've already worn this out. I wore it to a little concert. I wore it with some sneakers and it was so cute. This little polka dot dress, it ties in the back. It just makes sense, you know? We love it. I like the little V-neck. It makes it a little bit more spicy. Yeah, love this. Can we just take a moment for this top? I need to see if they have any more tops like this because this is the most flattering thing in the entire world. It's like this little bra top, but then you like have this over. Oh, and then I have these pants that are from Princess Polly as well. I got them a size bigger because I want them to be like low rise. I think they're just supposed to be like normal rise. I don't know, part of me is like, hmm, maybe I will get them altered, but regardless, I did wear them the other night low rise and I got a lot of compliments, so. Very cute. I love the pants, the pockets, the details. I love this outfit. I also got this top, which is a very similar vibe. It doesn't have like a corset or anything, 
but same situation i love the yellow and orange such a fun summer top also looks good with these jeans crushing it princess polly okay this top is also giving everything it needs to i love the stripes the detailing on either side is so fun again just with some jeans or some denim shorts I love it. We'll be wearing this in the Hamptons for sure and all summer. I had to hop on some of their comfy loungewear. This jacket is so warm, so soft. I like how thick it is. I know it's summer, but traveling in the summer, they keep them cold in the trains and the planes and everything. I feel like it's just really nice to have a big comfy jacket and I just wanted a neutral jacket like this. Zip up so if you like do your makeup and stuff, you can just zip it off. You don't have to worry about pulling it over your head or if you do a sleek pony that situation so i got this in a size eight for reference because i wanted a little bit more oversized and i wanted to make sure to tell you guys so you can get it for yourselves and then lastly it's sheer so i have to be wearing a bathing suit underneath but i got this beautiful swimsuit cover-up dress it's long it's i've already tried it on it looks so so good i'm just trying to find a white bathing suit like a white bikini i think under this would be just the cutest thing in the entire world like so cute i mean you could probably wear it to like a beach party something like that if you get like a white bandeau and white bottom situation but this is a winner so again make sure to shop princess polly use my code danielle 20 it'll I'm, I'm literally going to use it like i use my own code often I'm telling all my friends tell all your friends it's amazing go check out princess polly and i'll have everything that i talked about linked below as well all right, it's time for the gym makeup. You guys know the vibes. I will be out and about all day. I think it's gonna be a go, go, go type of day. So I'm packing my good old big tote bag with deodorant in there, perfume, my boar bristle brush if I need to like re-slick my um, hair. And yeah, so I that's why I like put in earrings and stuff. I mean, I am wearing a workout outfit, but I like to feel somewhat presentable. So we're just doing our brows, the Refi Brow Gel. I'm gonna put on a little eye cream. This is the Sunday Riley Auto Correct. Just need a little brighten, you know? And then of course, because the sun is very powerful and it gives us a nice glow, we're gonna use the Super Goop Glow Screen because it's the best and it hasn't made me break out so we do appreciate that all right we're gonna head to the gym this is my outfit i'll show you guys in a sec all right here is the fit for the gym apartment touring i'm returning my um clothing rental to the stores get that sent off all right let's get on with the day i'm nervous there's a lot to do So I just got back and when I went to Sephora, of course, it's very hard to leave with just one thing. <laughs> this is what I went to Sephora for. It's the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I've repurchased this many times. It's awesome. And then I bought a couple other things that some friends have recommended to me, etc. This though, you guys know I'm obsessed with the Sunday Riley CEO Glow. This is like, I don't even know what number repurchase this is. Love this. I ran out. Um, we had Kat, our makeup artist, on the podcast last week, and she put on this Makeup by Mario Bare Glow Plumping Lip Serum, and I was like, I need to try this. 
And then my friend Mary Stephen, we were on a walk, and you guys know I'm obsessed with sunscreen right now, and Supergoop in particular. It's Supergoop summer. So we're gonna try this out. A lot of people have been raving about it right now. Makeup, uh, Mario is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, so I'm like, I need to see what this is all about. Um, I'm just gonna use it as like a bronzer. So we shall see. I do wanna try this makeup by Mario stuff. Oh. I just love the packaging and everything. It says it's plumping. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no! I think it got too hot. It got too hot in the in my bag all day. Okay, I like it. I do feel a little tingles. I like it. it. Looks like I put on lip gloss, but it's just like this easy little bomb situation. I guess don't let it be in a black bag in the heat though, because that's a little melty vibes. But I like it a lot. Also, here are the two bags that I ended up borrowing from, from Vivrel this month. I literally love it. You guys should definitely sign up, especially if you live in New York, so you can go to the showroom. So first I got this fun little Fendi orange bag. I think it's so cute. I love how it has this strap, but then it also can be a crossbody. I think this is gonna be so fun for like surf lodge and all that. I have some outfits that have some orange in them. So I think that's perfect. And then I wanted a fun like structured tote for the pool and just other stuff like that. And I love this Fendi one. I was looking at the Christian Dior one, but they were all borrowed, of course, because they're so popular. So this one is fabulous, and I think I'm gonna use it instead of this one for the two weeks. Just like a fun little change of scenery. I love Vivrel so much, it's so much fun. <laughs> Laundry's being done right now, that's what you guys can hear. I just showered and I'm about to dig into this kava bowl. I need to just like get the ingredients and start making this at home because it's so good. I'm just addicted to anything with avocado and the arugula, the chicken, the corn, the tomato. Oh, so good. All right, like I said, we showered. I just put on this little fit. Um, we're gonna go to dry bar. I'm so excited to get my hair done. I'm trying to decide what to do. I either want to do just like my normal, I get the straight up with rounded ends, or I'm like, should I do the dirty martini and get some loose waves and switch it up a bit? I don't know, but yeah, this is the fit. I kind of like it. I'm like, should I bring this to the Hamptons? Like, I just keep packing things. I'm like, oh, this should come too. I can't be stopped. I can't be stopped, but yeah, let's go to dry bar. I got the Mai Tai today and I really like it. All right, like I said, I got the Mai Tai and I just want it to fall and become more of just like a chill. Oh, it's Mai Tai slash Dirty Martini, she said, but just basically loose curls. They're going to fall. She curled with a flat iron. I'm happy. I'm happy I got them. I want them to fall a little bit, but they always do. <laughs> now I'm just doing some last minute packing before I head to dinner tonight. I'm pulling out some fun shoes for Montauk. I'm basically doing one suitcase and then one duffel bag of like, I'm putting purses, hats, my bathing suits, my toiletries, hair, like this is going to carry everything. Like this thing is ginormous. Um, so yeah, those two. And then I'll be bringing, I just lit a candle. This one's the New York City candle. Um, I'm gonna be bringing this tote bag that I got today obviously. And then this one with all of our gals on the go stuff that we're gonna need, so. Ryan is calling me. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I'm gonna come over, get this ironed out, and I got spaghetti sauce on it. Kinda, but it's not like noticeable. Did you eat uh, spaghetti sauce with your shirt for tonight on? <laughs> no. Well, oh. For tonight, I don't know, the one for tonight, I looked at it and there's like kind of a stain. <laughs> well, pick a different shirt, babe. <laughs> All right, Ryan just came by. He ironed his shirt. I don't know why I felt the need to update you guys that. He was just being really funny. He's like stressed, I could tell, or like nervous. I like my look. I also tried out the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer. I like how it looks. It's a little bit of a cheaper option of that Chanel cream bronzer that I use. I think I used it right. I just used it like a bronzer, basically. Um, did I try any other products? No, I think that was it today. But I'll show you guys my outfit. Also, I'm like truly just about packed so that in the morning I can wake up and head to Montauk. Here is my little fit for the night. I have no idea if I'm overdressing or not, but Ryan's wearing like a button down and stuff. I think I said we're going to Pastis and meat packing. And yeah, I'm going with Ryan's boss and um, 
should be a good time. So I know it's like kind of low cut, but I feel like it's fine, you know, because it's like very flowy, fun, and it's kind of just like stays put. I think it's really cute. And then I'm wearing these shoes that I'm bringing to Montauk. They're so perfect. Love a baby heel. And then I'm going to just do this bag again because it's just fun and it's fun to hold like this. I don't know. <laughs> oh, laundry's about to be done. Anyways, that is a wrap for this New York City busy day in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to head to dinner and I'm definitely not going to be vlogging at that. I hope you guys understand. I never updated you guys on the apartment. Oh my gosh. I found out earlier, but I was like on the go. I did not get the apartment that I wanted, that I applied for. Someone else got it. Someone snatched her up. And, you know, I just want to know why. But also, I just, you know what? Whatever. It wasn't meant to be. I'm pretty freaking sad about it. But it's okay. That building has a couple more opening up soon. And that's just, you know, I texted my friend and she was like, rejection is more like redirection. And I think literally back to like when I didn't get into a different school and I ended up going to Georgia and I'm literally so happy I went to Georgia. So I'm just like thinking like that. But yeah, if you guys watched my last vlog, you know, like I was very passionate about this one apartment and uh, it just didn't happen. That's okay. There's more like it for sure. I just, it had everything I wanted and it was a great location, but that's okay. So yeah, I wanted to update you guys on that. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Stay tuned for all the Montauk and Hamptons content coming your way. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.